team, we're gonna do a nice little Carver ham and we're gonna cook it in our Ninja Foodie Grill and Griddle. Y'all stick around for this one. What's up everybody, welcome to Cooking with CJ. I'm CJ, welcome to my kitchen, so glad you're here. We got a nice, simple, easy dish today. We're gonna be coming up on Easter soon, so I wanted to make sure you guys are ready and prepared to do a little ham in your Ninja Foodie Grill and Griddle. All right. I know it's probably a little bit far out for uh, Easter, but you know, it's a stretch, but we're gonna stretch. We're gonna, <laughs> might as well stretch big, all right? Thing is, I have a ham, I wanna cook it. There's a foodie grill and griddle already set up on my Ninja Foodie Grill Station. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna cook it in a little bit of uh, butter, apple juice, and honey bath. We're gonna put a little uh, sweet and spicier seasoning on the top, a little Uncle Steve shake. So we're gonna impart a lot of flavor on this, you know, already flavorable piece of meat. And then we're gonna take the juice that we cooked this, this ham in, and we're gonna reduce it down to make a little uh, glaze on it, okay? So got a couple little steps to it. It's gonna be amazing, all right? Nothing left to do but get started. Come on down to the Ninja Foodie Grill Station, otherwise known as My Kitchen Island. Let's get started. All right, team, this is the little carver ham we're gonna use, okay? It's applewood double smoked, so I figured it'd be better to do it on the inside of the house in our grill and griddle, as opposed to the new wood fire. I don't really need to add smoke to something that's already been double smoked. We are gonna use our little eight by eight pan. Now, if you guys remember my baking video on the Ninja Foodie Grill and Griddle, we went through a bunch of different ways to bake on it because this grill does not have like a pan per se, right? So I found out the best way was to use a little eight by eight pan. All right, it's two inches high. The ham will fit just so in there. So it works out really well. Set that up there. So there's got a little bit of a fat cap on top of the, the ham here that we're gonna score. Got a nice sharp knife right here. We're just gonna score the fat cap and then season it up with a little Uncle Steve shake. We'll go ahead and get it in the pan, get it rolling. Right, so let's go ahead and get this out of the package. There is gonna be some moisture on it. So that's why I have the paper towel down. And I know I have a little plastic cutting board here on another cutting board. And just gotta tell you, it's just me being lazy. This, this plastic one's a lot easier to clean than this big old wooden board. So we're gonna take this out. There's a bunch of juices in there. We'll put it to the side and we'll pat this thing dry. Put the knife down first, okay. So like I said, there's just a little bit of a fat cap there. So we're just gonna give a little quick score across it. We're not really trying to get into that meat, but this is just gonna help some of that fat render out while we're cooking. And it'll help us get a little seasoning on there. Again, we're using a little Uncle Steve's sweet and spicier. I did dry it off, but it is kind of tacky still. So we're just gonna add a little bit on there. Okay, over the top, get it in between the fat. Get a little on the front here, perfect. All right, let's get our ham in the pan. <laughs> I'm a poet and didn't know it, baby. Ham is seasoned up. Let's get our pat of butter, just a small, just a little bit of butter. All right, you don't have to judge. We're gonna go in with about four ounces of this apple juice. So about half this little bottle right here. Just a little, the mots. And then we'll go in with a little honey. It's gonna go over the top with it. Add a little sweetness to the situation. Get a little on that butter. We're going about two tablespoons, give or take. All right, and this is ready to be shut down. We are going to cook it according to the package directions, more or less. Now the package says 350, but we're gonna drop that by 25 degrees. With these foodie grills, it's such a you know condensed space, a lot of heat gets on it really easily. So we're gonna go at 325. The package says 15 minutes per pound, a two pound ham. So we'll go from there. It advises you to take it to 130 internal temperature. So we're gonna use our Thermapro Lightning Instant Read Thermometer, probably about 20 minutes into it just to make sure. And then, um, you know, we're just making sure we're going by the package directions. It's fully cooked, you should be fine. But 130 degrees will get it to where it's, you know, piping hot as we get done. Let's go ahead and get this thing set up. Uh, if you guys want to get yourself one of these instant read thermometers, these Thermapro Lightnings, I'll have a link down below. It's a discounted link, save you 20%. Hook it up. All right, let's get this thing cooking. What do you say? 
Oh, real quick, if you guys like what you see so far, you're having a good time, you're uh, finding this valuable, please hit that subscribe button with that bell next to it so you alerts on what we're doing here, all right? Don't forget to hit that thumbs up too. Get this bad boy turned on. Hey, I remember to plug it in. Woohoo! Gonna turn the dial to the bake setting. It's at 325 already, so that's what we want. Uh, it calls for about 30 minutes, so I'll just leave it at 35 so I don't have to mess with the time. And we'll hit start. We're gonna go through the preheating process. It'll take a couple minutes. And we'll, uh, like I said, we'll check on it in about 20 minutes. Been 20 minutes. Let's check the internal temps. This may not need, oh, actually it may need the extra 10, 15 minutes. Temp it out 103 on the inside. All right, we're gonna give this a little mix and mix in here. Get all that butter and splash it around, make a mess. You know, you know how we do. But I love the color we're getting on the inside there. It's looking nice. Don't mind the shadow from the camera. Looking good guys, looking good. We're gonna shut it down, let it have another 10 minutes. We'll come check on it. We're at that 30 minutes. We give it a quick view. Look how it looks. Look how it looks, that's a little redundant. I'm gonna take all that juice out of there and make a little glaze out of it. Let's get this thing temped out. We're over that 130. Let's get this out onto the cutting board, let it rest. We're gonna take this juice, pour it in a pan, make our glaze. All that ham is looking good. We're gonna do a little strain on it. Just, there's little milk solids in there from the butter. And maybe a little bit of the fat kind of drained off. So we're gonna strain it out, a little strainer in a pan over on the stove. Get that apple juice, that honey, that butter, get it all nice and reduced. Uh, so it gets a nice little kind of thick glaze in there, all right? So it's gonna take a little bit more time on the stove. While we uh, let this ham rest a little bit, we'll do the we'll do the glaze, all right? Maybe might add a little bit more honey to it, a little bit more Uncle Steve shake. Just we got all them flavors going as we pour it over the top. All right, let's go, let's get it on the stove. All right, we're gonna strain out all them solids. See, just a little bit of the, little of that seasoning in there, the milk solids. We're gonna fire this up on high. Come on, turn on, there we go. Fire it up on high, let it reduce down, and we'll pour it over okay, the top. Okay guys, we've let our uh, cooking juices and butter and honey and all the goodness reduce by half. So this is our glaze that we're gonna pour over the top of the ham. Looking good, looking nice. Be nice and sweet and buttery. All right, let's get that ham carved up. Our glaze is done, let it reduce by half. It's gonna be nice and buttery and sweet and a little bit of spice because I put a little bit more of that Uncle Steve in there. All right, so we're gonna pour that over the top of the ham. It's gonna be good stuff right there. Took about 20 minutes to reduce all that liquid, so yeah, your mileage might vary. All right, let's get this ham carved up. Check it out. For the carving, we're gonna use our big old doll strong knife and we're just gonna take them across, okay? Top is nice and sticky. -icky. Still nice and steamy on the inside. I could probably cut these slices a little bit thinner, but yeah. In the essence of saving time, in the interest of saving time, I guess. Not the essence. <laughs> one last one. Trying to cut my fingers off. All right, looking good. All right, let's get it plated up and then we'll uh, get that glaze on there, huh? Guys, we're done. It looks good. You know we had to do that slow-mo stuff with that glaze, but it's thick, it's rich, it's sweet, it's got some spice in it. Trust me when I say it's worth the time to reduce that juice. Got me a little bite right here, dipped it in that uh, that glaze. Mm. God, that is too sweet. Mm. Like sweet isn't good, not like too sweet. Like, oh my God, it's too sweet. But it's like, sweet. Anyway, oh, that's good. That is real good. I mean, there ain't nothing wrong with ham anyway, but when you add a little extra, like that glaze on there, extra flavors, extra spices, take that ham up a notch, you know what I'm saying? So listen, it took about the same time it would have taken in the oven. It was like, they said it was about 15 minutes per pound, okay? But you drop that temperature down by 25 degrees, okay? Usually when I cook stuff off of like a package in my foodie grills, I drop it by 25 degrees. All right, just a little pro tip for you. All right, trust me, you don't wanna overcook anything, right? Turn out money in the bank, you gotta love it. If you wanna get yourself one of these Ninja Grill and Griddles, I'll put a link down below to Ninja. It's an affiliate link, but it doesn't cost you anything more to use, but it helps out your boy, all right? Knives, cutting boards, merch, all that stuff's down below, so hit show more underneath the video. In the video description, there's a bunch of links, okay? 
If you wanna become a show producer like all these awesome people scrolling in front of me, people who can't wait to bust out of Easter ham, even though it's like three months before Easter, <laughs> click that join button right next to the subscribe button, which you should have already hit by now. Other than that, guys, we are done. Listen, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for cooking with CJ. Take care.